Well, one day after Hennepin County attorney Mary Moriarty was profiled in the New York Times for criticism that she's faced, one of her highest profile cases is once again making headlines. That is the murder case against Minnesota State Trooper Ryan Londrigan. He is facing felony charges for fatally shooting Ricky Cobb II during a traffic stop in Minneapolis last summer. And now Cobb's family plans to sue Londrigan. Well, this is Londrigan's defense seeks new records in his case. Our Courtney Godfrey joins us live with details about these new developments tonight. Courtney? Well, Randy, this is just the latest in a case that he has seen ongoing public clashes between the Hennepin County Prosecutor's Office and Londrigan's defense team. Now, with this lawsuit looming, tensions are only heightened. Get out of the car now! Get out of the car now! The body camera footage that led to criminal charges, now the focus of a civil case, with the family of Ricky Cobb II announcing their plans to sue the state trooper who shot and killed him last summer. According to the Department of Public Safety, Cobb was initially pulled over for a broken taillight. But when troopers attempted to arrest the driver on a felony domestic protection order violation, he started to drive away, prompting Trooper Ryan Londrigan to shoot. <laughs> The Cobb family lawsuit announced on the same day that Londrigan's attorneys filed court documents seeking all communications between Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty's office and the Cobb family, as well as communications with community activists Spike Moss and others. This as tensions between the two sides have played out publicly, both in court and through the media. The Minnesota Police and Peace Officers Association even asking Governor Walls to reassign the case after the defense accused Moriarty's office of ignoring its use of force expert opinion in the case after he found Londrigan followed his training. This as Londrigan could face up to 40 years in prison on the murder charge alone. Londrigan is scheduled to be back in court on April 29th in response to the news of this lawsuit that's going to be filed. His attorney said today, greed makes people say dumb things. Reporting live in Minneapolis tonight, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9. All right, thanks, Courtney.